If you go be a pitcher, you got to know how to pitch. You got to study pitchers. You got to look, look, watch the games, even on the big leagues. Watch how the pattern they pitch and find yourself finding yourself a, a pattern to pitch. And even watch them. Y'all see ESPN when they do the countdowns on the home runs and all. Watch most of the pitches that they hit out of the ballpark are up here. And you even hear them on ESPN say a mistake pitch. Or they make, they miss their spots in the big leagues too. They miss them in the big leagues. They miss them in college. And when they miss them, you got to make them pay for it. Because baseball is the only game where you can hit 300. I mean, if you got 1,000 at bat, over 700 times you made outs, and you still get paid millions of dollars. Professional baseball. But everybody don't want to get that opportunity to play professional baseball. Now, the quickest way you guys need to go about putting yourself on the maps is you need to find out where the Major League Trial Camps are going to be held in your area. Most of them are held in the summer. And you need to, you know, if you, if you don't know, call me and ask. But you need to find yourself, if you feel you have talent and ability, go to the Major League Trial Camps. First of all, they're free. A lot of these showcase and that you pay these hundreds and thousands of dollars to be involved in, they're not going to get you what you're looking for because for most of those people that's running those, they're money makers. They're money makers. And then most of them can't, they, base you go there and that's the only contact you have with them. Once it's over, that's it. If you want to get real exposure to scouts, go to the scouts. You have to be known by the scouts in your area and want, if you go out there and you do well, your name will, they'll, they'll get to know you. They'll start inviting you to the camps. They'll have some invitation only one-on-ones. They'll have work at trials invitation only at the, at the major league ballparks, you know, the Cubs, Sox, Yankees, whatever, that you'll get personal invitations to be at when you reach the level that they're interested in you. They're going to pick from those trial camps, they top ball players, and they'll invite you down. And if you really in the top echelons of, of prospects, They'll even fly you in to those workouts. So that's where you want to be if you want. And scouts pass information on to college coaches too on players. You know, they pass them on. So that's where you, the circle, if you want to get in that upper echelon circle or be in high profile settings. If you find high profile tournaments that's going to get you some exposure, get in those because they want to come see you play. I can work you out and get a feel for you, but that don't tell me how you're going to do against competitive competition when you face real pitching. That don't tell me how you're going to respond with the pressure the game is on you. When you go out there and I see you throwing BP, a BP pitcher, throwing, that, that tells me if you got bad speed, but everybody don't respond the same to the pressure of the game. Some people are money ball players. They rise. Some people fold tent when it's time to the money, the game's on the line. And, but in their mind, psychologically, that's what they're in the outfield. <laughs> Freeze. When you're a money ball player, you get up there, two outs, bases loaded. I want the fuck. Coach, give me the bat. I hit. Some guys don't want to hit. Damn, I hope that's a ball. <laughs> Close his eyes. What's that, Blue? Oh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. So. You know, good competition, they're going to go with good competition at. I mean, as anything, you know, when you're scouting, you're one person. If you've got five events going on, five different tournaments in this Florida area where Key is in, you can only see one game at a time. So you're not necessarily going to see all the players just because they're at a tournament or a showcase or so on and so forth. But if you got them at your own individual workout, you get a chance to see those ball players. So we want to enhance your guys' opportunity toward the future in baseball. Those of you that feel you have a future in baseball, we want to enhance it, we want to help, we want to give you the knowledge of what it takes so when you walk out there on the field at a trial, you already know what I got to do. Just as simple. So I'm going to cut it short because I, like I said, I can't give it all to you in, in five minutes. It's, you know, it's a process, it's a learning process. But this is baseball on the next level, and I hope it was beneficial to you. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope in a couple of years uh, 
to, to see some of you guys advancing in baseball. And you guys can feel free to keep in touch with me because I'm going to be available. I'll give you a point as I give you advice. If I can help you, I can help you, I can help you. I'm just going to finish off right here. It comes down to it. Yes, it is. It comes down to it like this. It don't matter how good you are. If you don't really want it, you get there. You got and you got semi, a little bit of talent, just a little bit or whatever, you could always work on that. So I'd rather take somebody who has the heart and is willing to learn, shuts up and listens and does what it takes, than to take a, a player who, who has the skills, the raw talent, but doesn't want to show up, doesn't want to listen, and is half-assed about everything. You know what? They're just more trouble than they are. And eventually, you know what? You can stick with them as much as you, as you want. I mean, I've seen I've seen over the years, I've seen uh, my high school coach, and I've seen Maiden too as well. I've seen them try and try. You see the talent in some of these players, and you try to come on, bring them, bring them on, and try to show them that hey, you know what? You have an opportunity. Here. You know, and I've seen it. They don't they don't want they don't have their hearts out there. They're, they're too busy chasing chicks out there. Uh, just whatever, whether it's drugs or whatever it is. <laughs> There's only five minutes. So, <laughs> you're fired, maybe. So, anyway, if, if you don't, if you're not, if your heart's know not in it, then you know what? Just go home. Go home for real because I'm going to work with people back in Chicago. I work with players who really want to, they could be small, whatever. I'm going to train them. I'm going to get them in shape. And I'm going to make them a ball player, all right? I'm try, I've been trying to work on Maiden for a while, but you know what? He don't want to, so I stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Session two coming up, <laughs> part two coming up. Let the Mexicans get on the bike. <laughs> they call it immigration on you. <laughs> All right, so oh, I got to get in Obama the guy, Just because Obama's in the picture now. That's right, we got Obama. Get out of here. <laughs> Y'all going to get us left out of here. Stop us. <laughs> you know they, oh, they did vote for All right, anyway. So who leave? Come on, Sean. Sean get an interview since he leaving. The rest of y'all will get our other ones. My buddy Sean. All right, we're down here in Florida with Sean. Just finished up with our Christmas tournament baseball clinic. So how was your experience? It was really good. Um, it was a really good experience playing. It's uh, it's our competition. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about these guys? Us, oh, right? Oh, this is a good bunch of ball players right here. Yeah. So what did you get out of this experience? Um. I know what to do to get to the next level. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> cussing on my tape. <laughs> bad, my bad. Um, what was the question again? I forgot that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what does it take to get to the next level? What you learn about the next level? Um, it takes heart and you know work on your, your weaknesses and. So what did, what did you had feel you had to work on from this experience? Um, I can work on my batting. And you ain't too talkative, tools. are you? No. <laughs> All right, this is your last chance. Now, you parents been ringing my phone off the hook. Want to know about your son being a part of our baseball program? Well, we got one great tournament left. Our Memphis, Tennessee tournament team for baseball players, Little League baseball players ages 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and 16. We got 16 spots on each team to fill. We're looking for the top Little League and youth baseball players that want to be a part of our Memphis, Tennessee tournament team. Call me right now. Call me the coach right now be a part of that team.